What's up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. It is Friday and Zer has returned for the first week of the Witch Queen. He's actually back on the EDZ over in the Winding Cove. You can access it via the cave up by the catch. All right, let's see what his inventory looks like for this week. All right, we'll start off here as we always do. The weapon this week is Sunshot. You've got explosive rounds and it highlights targets. It also has Sunblast. It's the only 150 RPM hand cannon in the game. Uh, so it could be pretty good, actually. Uh, so it might be worth picking up if you don't have that already. For you hunters here, we've got Lucky Pants with 48. That's exceptionally low. Uh, we've got Illegally Modded Holster, so hand cannons ready faster and gain increased accuracy and bonus damage, which is really good if you pair it with something like Malfeasance, in fact. So that's an awful roll, though, but worth having, I guess, if you haven't got it in the collection. Uh, Doom Fangs with a 48, and uh, these are really low. Um, Horns of Doom. Void melee kills give super energy and improves your sentinel shield. Uh, these stat distributions aren't great, guys, but I guess if you need them for leveling up, or if you don't have them at all, if you're brand new to Destiny, then they're worth picking up. Otherwise, you could probably get them from other sources, uh, with much better rolls. And then for the Skull of Dyer Amankara, the highest of the week at 50, which is insane. Uh, we've got Actual Grandua, so Nova Bomb kills Grant Super Energy. So yeah, very much collection exotics here. Nothing to really uh, shout about. For the legendary weapons, we've got the Autoloading Holster, Multi-Kill Clip, Gnawing Hunger, Dyer Promise with Autoloading and Swashbuckler, Enigma's Draw with Full Auto and Elemental Capacitor, Definitely and Whisper from Season of the Hunts here, Pretty cool. Well worth picking up for a wave launch of this. Killing Wind and Unrelenting. Uh, Sojourner's Tail with auto-loading holster and opening shot. Here we go. Uh, we've got Light Mag here. We've got a Range Masterwork. And we've got Full Bore. So, yeah. Sojourner's Tail is definitely a uh, must-have for the legendary weapons this week. We've got Temptation's Hook with Tireless Blade and Vorpal, which isn't bad either. And Frozen Orbits here from the Crucible with Clown Cartridge and Snapshot Sights. So, yeah. That Sojourner's Tail is really strong. For the armor, then, we've got the Season of the Chosen set, the Prefect, the Prefectus set, rather. 46, 46, 46, and 46. So very much only for your Transmog collection. But we're all here for these bad boys. Hawkmoon. You can now pick this up from Xur. As you can see, it costs 125,000 Glimmer, 200 Legendary Shards, a Cypher, and an Ascendant Shard. So they're not cheap. Uh, we've got Isle of Storm on here. In terms of the rest of the perks, we've got Alloy Magazine. And we've got Hit Heavy Grip with Extended Barrel. So not bad, I guess, if you don't have a good one. Better rolls to be had, though. We've got Vorpal Weapon on the Dead Man's, though. Got Steady Rounds here. And then we've got Fitted Stock. So we at least have a Vorpal Weapon Dead Man. So yeah, it's a quick look at Zer for what is the first Zer of the Witch Queen. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the other videos here on the channel as that super helps me out. I want to jump back into the game as always, guys, and I will catch you all again very soon.